the whole input handling and how you're working with this terminal feels more like a modern code editor than a simple command line input. Because what you can do in warp is, um, and I haven't really seen this anywhere else by the way, you can use the mouse to jump around in your command while you are writing it. And you can also replace text inside this command block as long as you haven't executed it of course. And you can even do it in multi-line commands. So now it gets very interesting because you can just move around with your cursor to any of the lines above, edit and replace text. Or you can even spawn a multi-cursor below or above your current selection and work with it like in a code editor, edit multiple lines at once. So no preparing a complex multi-line command in a text editor first and then copy and paste it back into the terminal. You don't need to do that anymore because you can just use warp terminal like a text editor. For me this is so damn useful but wait it gets even more interesting. Warp by default already has a lot of predefined workloads that you can search for. For example in the open SSL section there are command snippets for converting SSL certificates or in Kubernetes there are snippets for more complex kubectl commands mainly to do maintenance tasks like rollback deployments or sort pods by ages. You can find these command snippets useful or not but what caught my interest about this feature was that you can also write custom workflows as well. For example I have created a workflow that will generate a new self-signed certificate for me. So this workflow consists of four different commands where I have defined some default values so I can replace it all in one single step. For example the name of the certificate or the subject alternative name, how long the certificate should be valid and so on. And when I execute this workflow it will just generate a new self-signed certificate. How cool is that? 